Hi there. I hope you have seen part one. Now we are going to do part two. In part two, what we are going to do is we are going to pass the link of the collection instead of passing the JSON file. Okay. And in this, we are also going to pass the environment, right? So by now you must know that, you know, our collection may be dependent on an environment, for example, a QA environment or your production environment or right. And it may also be dependent on globals, but as mentioned in the Postman variables that it's recommended to not use globals, right? So therefore, I'll restrict this video only to environment. However, if you are referring to globals in your collection, the logic will remain the same. I'll tell you the only the only the difference would be the flag that you have to use. Okay. And what we are going to do is in this particular example, we are going to export the environment to the JSON file. And in the part three, we'll see how we can generate the URL for environment variables. Okay. So at the end of this part two, we'll also see the issues with this approach. Okay. And what are the possible solutions? All right. So use of environment and global variables. Okay. So to mention your environment and global variables these are the flags that you have to use so for environment you have to use hyphen e and for globals you have to use hyphen g and what you have to provide after hyphen e if you are working on the environment.json file then you have to provide the path and the name of the environment json so what i did in my previous example i stored it as a at a particular location and in the command prompt, I move to that location so that I don't need to provide the path and I just need to provide the name of the environment JSON file. Okay, so choice is yours. How do you want to do that? Okay, uh, the other way is when you use the URL of the environment. Okay, so that we'll see in the next part. Okay, so yeah, let's move to Postman and do this okay so we have to show the dependency on environment variable so let's do one thing let's take this particular part out and just create or uh, let's use this okay so this is already stored url okay so what we can do is we can simply refer to that in here and we can say url and let's see if it is resolved yeah it is resolved to this okay do the same for this request as well and let's mention url here as well save that and see whether it's resolved let us also execute this request Could not okay is it running okay so see this is the wrong code so let me change the URL can I do that so come here click on this and this is my correct URL let me update that and it is updated let me send that now So four dot four. Okay, again the same mistake which I made in the in the second or third video. So it should not be here. Okay, so we are able to see the response. Okay, for both the requests. Let me save those. Okay, close these. Let us run these to the collection runner. And see both are working. Run from here. So yes, both are executing successfully. Now our next step would be to export our environment variable. So from where we can export, click on that. This is your QA, right? So click on this and let's store it here the same place where we have our collection okay newman collection this is the collection we are working on save on this okay and now instead of that 
collection dot JSON, we have to work on the link. Okay, let's generate the link. So for that, again, click on this button, click on share, click on get public link. In your case, you'll not see any link here, so you'll see generate link. All right, but in my case, since I've already worked on this and I've made changes into the collection, so I have to click on this update link. So let me just copy that, come here. We are into that folder. What is the command? New man, run, and then you have to provide the URL between these codes. Okay, and then you have to provide the environment using E. And again, it's a good practice. Make sure that you use codes and you provide your data inside these codes. Okay, what was the name of QA? Yeah, so it's generated. And since I'm not providing any certificate, so I have to use this flag. In your case, you may not be needing that. So I click on OK. And see, everything works. Okay. If I don't provide the environment variable, right, since it has a dependency on that, let's see what will happen. So requests are failed because this particular thing is not resolved right this is what we set in the environment variable so it is mandatory for us to provide the environment how can we provide the environment pretty simple right all you have to do is just do hyphen e in case of environment variable and provide your collection uh, environment.json file okay great now let's see what's the problem with this approach okay so now I go to here open one of the requests and let's write a test and let's go for response time is less than this so let's make sure that it fails okay uh, let me send this request and see if it is failing so yeah a test is failing okay and let's change it to 10 right to ensure that it will always fail right so expected 90 to be below see that was the reason so we had 100 now and now it is dropped to 90 so 10 will work in all the cases <clears throat> let me do one more again it's still failing all right great so now let me go here and press the up key okay so what i'm doing is new and run providing the same url and providing the environment as well and i'm executing that and it is going to pass here okay why is it passing and it is failing in your app okay the reason is not this one so when you generate the link what it does it takes the snapshot of the collection at that moment of time okay so if you have made any changes to your collection afterwards you have to click on this update link which is going to fetch the new link you need to copy that we'll come here and say new mail run provide that url provide your environment right and then okay now let's see So you see one assertion is failed response time is less than so that's the name of it expected 191 to be built with them okay so get the point right okay so now what are the possible solutions okay so one possible solution is every time you make a change you export your collection.json and environment.json so wherever you're making the change right you re-export that and put it at the shared location from where everyone can access it and one shared location could be your github right so that's how you can coordinate among your team members all right the other approach could be which we are going to see into part three all right 
so yeah that's about this video thank you so much